This is good news, isn't it? Um, this is good news, but I would say this will be um, a pretty challenging uh, exchange offer to pull off. Um, so Kaiser is looking to essentially extend the maturity of a bond that's uh, mm. due in less than two weeks by 18 months. Um, and it's, it's, this is an offer that expires next Thursday, so bondholders have a week uh, to say whether they want to, to do this or not. Uh, and what, what will happen is essentially the holders of the 2021 note uh, will become more subordinated to uh, the other existing notes that are due beforehand. So um, Kai's are looking to swap 95% uh, of these notes, these notes that mature December 7th. And if you remember, David and Vaughan, um, this is something that Modern Land tried to do uh, in October, and then it cancelled the request to, to extend the maturity of a dollar bond by it's only three months and later defaulted. So uh, I would say that um, next Thursday, Thursday, when the, when the Kaiser offer expires, will be a very interesting time. We'll see if bondholders actually want to do this to avert uh, default or uh, whether they force kind of a restructuring uh, of, of this note. And potentially more good news as well. Uh, when we talk about Chengdu rolling out measures to support developers there, are we likely to see this more spread out in some other cities across China? So, yeah, this is the first city to really explicitly um, say that it's stepping uh, up mortgage loans. This is being taken positively by the market. You see uh, shares really rallying um, in the property space. I would say that kind of any good news uh, or any any sign uh, that the local governments or the central government is stepping up efforts to ease the lo liquidity crisis uh, will be taken so positively because the the indication has been uh, very much on that, you know, that... that China will continue to tighten funding conditions for the sector. Um, so if this does roll out um, kind of more more broadly and to, to cities um, in Guangzhou, um, where, where a lot of, uh, for example, Evergrande and uh, RNF uh, properties projects are, are based, that could really at least suggest that uh, the projects will be completed. And maybe not the dollar debt, but onshore liabilities that are owed to suppliers um, will be, uh, you know, th that will be kind of taken care of by the central government. But again, it's an indication of government support, and that's very much what's driving sentiment.